Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this video, as you guys can tell by the title, is my Shatter Me vlog. This is a very popular series on BookTok and BookTube. So if you're watching this video, you probably have heard about it. This vlog will be full spoilers. So if you haven't read it and don't want to be spoiled, do not watch this video. As you guys saw, I did start Shatter Me yesterday. I only got about 80% in, but so far I can say that I am really enjoying it. I can't really say much other than that i will say like the whole road building and stuff is like crazy like i can't even imagine being juliet and having the memories of like what like a normal life is and then having to live in this post re-establishment world i did meet two people that i see a ton of tiktoks about warner and adam which because like i knew i wanted to read this series and stuff i'd never looked too far into it to avoid spoilers but i thought that adam and warner were like the same person for some reason but they're not so imagine my surprise i assume that's who the love triangle is going to be about i think there's a love triangle in here but so far i'm really liking it um i love the way it's written and i plan to read a lot more of this book today so hopefully later on today i'll be able to come back on camera with some more thoughts Hello vlog. I have a little update for you guys. Not a big one. I just have a little comment. I am currently 13 chapters in and we just saw Juliet kind of use her powers for like the first time and see what she can do. And it's honestly just this whole like scene was absolutely crazy with Warner just taking this innocent soldier to like be the victim to see what Juliet is working with is just insane. I couldn't even imagine being the other soldiers and witnessing that. I assume he's dead. They haven't said anything yet. I'm about to start chapter 14, but I just wanted to come on here and talk about like how crazy that scene was. Warner, wow. That man is something else. I don't even know how to describe him. It's like he seems to be, I don't want to say the word sweet, but like decent. I don't know the right words right now. It's really late. And then he does stuff like this, just like pushing people way past the limit and being very impulsive it's safe to say i'm really enjoying this so far it's reading really quick the action is chef's kiss and i'm loving the character so far <laughs> vlog i'm back with another update as you guys saw i was outside earlier i read a really good amount of shatter me i am now 52 percent through and i'm like really into the story and stuff now i'm learning a lot more about like juliet and adam's connection like how they know each other from the third grade i believe like when they were younger and more about like kind of warner's character so literally scratch everything that i said about oh warner he kind of seems like a little bit caring no that man is a little crazy very power hungry he's very damaged and tortured it seems like people like him so i will be interested to see if he changes but i have tapped some stuff where i'm like hmm i feel like there's something a lot deeper to how he's acting but i'm not sure yet and then adam and julia obviously like their relationship is definitely progressing really fast like I'm 50% in and like they've already kissed and stuff and I'm like oh like I'm not complaining but I'm just like whoa I did not expect it to move so fast um but it kind of makes sense because like they're kind of each other's anchor in this dystopian world and like they're both trying to get out I have met Kenji very briefly though so I don't really have much to say about him now later I'm sure I will but for now those are my thoughts on everything that's going on I am a little nervous about when her and Adam plan to like escape I know he said something about some rebels and like waiting three weeks or whatever but we'll see what happens and I also have a feeling that Warner knows that Adam and Juliet are kind of like messing around and have a connection like further than just them knowing each other from their childhood but i know the cameras are disabled in her room but i feel like that's just like too good to be true like i'll come back with another update soon so i just read chapters 26 and 27 i believe it's the part where julia and adam break out of like the main headquarters and i'm just honestly surprised like how well they were able to escape it kind of seems like a little bit too good to be true like i have a feeling they're gonna be caught or something like that like warner is literally obsessed with juliet so there's no way he's just gonna let her walk free but right now it seems to be going good but i will say it was interesting because before she like 
dropped out of the window warner touched her leg and he wasn't affected so i wonder because adam can touch her too so i wonder if it's kind of like a control thing from her side like a psychological thing i will say the more like i'm reading the more i love adam and the more i hate warner hello vlog it is the next day since the last clip i believe i really don't know all my days are blending together but i am now 67 percent through shatter me so far i've met adam's brother james he's really funny for a 10 year old usually i don't like like younger kids in books but i do not mind james yeah but it's like kind of sad like kind of like what's left outside of like the re-establishment place like from what i picked up it's like okay it's like the re-establishment has like these civilian camps or whatever for like citizens but like outside of that is like where their old life resides like abandoned but there's a whole area where all the orphan kids are and they're just like living there and i'm like wondering like how are you guys living where are you guys getting like your groceries and stuff and like they're going to like a school and all that but i am worried that word is gonna get out that adam and juliet are there but james does seem pretty trustworthy next time i pick up my book i'll be starting into chapter 35 i'll talk to you guys probably when i I'm about 80% through definitely closer to what I'm closer to the end of this book earlier i was like yeah everything seems too good to be true that they so easily you know found a place to stay no trouble yeah well the trouble just arrived they got found and also i met kenji and i really like him he's really funny like he's the humor that we need with all this serious stuff going on but now they have been found and i'm a little scared for their well-being i think they're gonna get away hopefully but i know it's gonna be a lot of chaos happening before that happens so we shall see <laughs> Hello vlog. It has been a little while since the last clips I got for you guys. As you guys saw, I sat down and finished the rest of Shatter Me. I'm giving this a 4 out of 5. I really liked it. It ended on a really happy note, like very hopeful for the future because they joined let me look what it's called again omega point and it seems like a really cool community and there's like more people with powers and stuff i'm just hoping that this isn't like a too good to be true type of situation and they don't do some shady stuff later in the series i am definitely a adam girly as of now who knows if i might switch over to warner but i doubt it but yeah but i'm loving like all these new characters that we're getting introduced to again we're seeing a lot more kenji we've met some people at omega point like winston castle and the twins and i'm just really i really enjoyed the last little bit but to just wrap up my final thoughts about this book i really enjoyed it i see why everyone on book talk loves this book it was a really good read i don't plan on continuing this series right now i think i'm gonna continue it in the fall and record me reading the rest of the series then but for now i'm like in like a summer romance mood but i'm so glad i picked up this first book and like finally got to dip my toes into this world and if you have read this series definitely feel free to comment down your thoughts on this first book so this concludes the end of this reading vlog i hope you guys enjoyed if you ever want to see me outside of my youtube video everything is always linked down below in regards to my socials and i also have a podcast called my two cents that i upload every friday so make sure to go check that out it's available on apple and spotify and don't forget to do the regular youtube stuff comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye